Hi, my name is George Garcia and I'm a product support specialist for Autodesk Eagle. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can leverage the new pin breakout functionality in the latest release of Eagle. So most of you will be familiar with the ability to right click on a component, go to breakout pins, either do a subset or break out all the pins using one of these options. Let's say pin names. And very quickly you break out the entire component and that's very useful. But the limitation here is that you don't have much control over the net name that gets assigned. It's going to use the pin name in some way, shape, or form unless you pick the Eagle default net names. However, in the latest release of Eagle, we've now given you more control. And the way you can do this is by, I'm going to go ahead and do a control Z to undo what we've done. Let's click on the net command. And you're going to see that now there's this pin breakout function here. So what we can do is going to click on it, and you'll see that you get the same options as with the right click option, but now we have this custom label option. So let's say that for this particular component, I want to have all of the right side use nets with the word output in it. So I'll type output, and I'm going to put in a number so that way I can leverage the auto increment. I pick that. We have minimum wire length, which basically defines a stub. The minimum wire length can be from 3 to 50. I want to go ahead and specify 3 to start. So I'll say OK. And now I just start left clicking. And you'll see that automatically the part gets broken out. And it automatically increments. So I'm not doing anything other than just left clicking. Now let's say that for this left side, I actually want to start with net names using the word mux. Well, I don't have to exit the net command, I can just click again, pin breakout, put a new label, mux, zero, pick the auto increment, in this case I'll leave the minimum wire length alone, say OK, and there we go. Sometimes if I miss the pin you'll get that little error, but you can just keep going. At any point you can just go back and switch and pick a different net name. We know you're really going to be able to speed up connecting your schematics using this tool. Thank you very much for spending this time with us today. Have a great day.